script had a better response after last week than what you saw tonight? Yeah, I thought it was good, um, a really strong performance tonight. But even last week, I, was, I thought we played good footy against a really high quality team. So small margins game. I, I thought last week was pretty strong as well. So, But tonight was really pleasing. Defensively, really sound after quarter time. They only give up 21 points to a team that really can attack. So uh, strong performance. What was that key message at quarter time? And what did you see that allowed you to, to lock them down and uh, really choke up their footy? Well, we think Essendon are quite aggressive in, in, in the way they play and move the ball. So we were mindful that they were going to be probably pretty sharp very much at the start. And they, they probably should have been in front nearly at quarter time, I think. But um, we, we're a pretty good defensive team most of the time. Um, uh, we, we restrict marks, we restrict disposals. And I think when you can get that on the side and get it going, you can go back at them, put them under a bit of pressure. Where does that first half rank for, for Connor's career? Uh, yeah, I've seen him play some pretty good games already, but not that good. Not in the first half, particularly. I mean, it was outrageous what he was doing. So, great young captain. He's, how has he taken that on? I mean, the performance, I think he's spoken about performance being the number one goal and the rest sort of coming. Yeah, we're really clear that, that leadership is about performance on game day, and I think that's, that's, that's something that Connor and Zach and the rest of the leadership, because Drew's a part of that, Houston's a part of that, and we, you know, Pep's a part of that group. So, um, they've really taken on board that that's their critical moment, performance and on game day, but then they're growing into leadership away from those days. The set of clearances were just dominant. Ken, have you seen that sort of performance from that crew in the centre square for a while? Um, I don't know. I'm not, not quite sure, um, to be honest. I mean, they were strong tonight, but, you know, as I said last week, we went plus 15 at clearance too, but not, not all centre clearance, clearly. But... Um, they're just growing. I think Josh's doing an outstanding job of um, growing that young group of mids. And um, Drew stepped up, I think, this year. I mean, he goes goes unnoticed by lots, but not by us. And the three get noticed a fair bit. And you know, I think Ollie's, you know, he's um, back in some form too. What about Jason? I mean, he's had a couple of weeks off and then it puts together a game like that. Yeah, could you give him a couple of weeks off more often, perhaps? <laughs> no, we can't afford to do that. No, he was, uh, look, he's. he's Again, there's been a lot said over the pre-season. Jace had a great pre-season. He's started the year really strongly, had a little interruption, but come straight back in and looked pretty good. What do you think of the tall forward group? You know, getting Mitch back in there, using the four? You know, the yeah, what we said um, leading into the game is that we, we hope and believe that Mitch doesn't necessarily fit into the tall forward bracket. We think he's got great running power and he's got top end speed. Clearly he can mark it and finish. So. Um, if he can play a high forward role for us a little bit more, we've got great flexibility then, and you know we'll, we'll have a little bit of a challenge next week. We've got to bring Pip back in. So obviously, uh, gather around stage. How much did you kind of use that to, to really drive the guys to, to come out? How much did you use that in your coaching this week? I this think day? I think for us, gather around builds momentum leading into it, and I think our players get a real sense and a real feel for that now, and they they're quite excited about what the whole concept is about. We, we represent the state of South Australia and we're really proud to do that. And um, you know, to see so many people here at the footy tonight um, and you know, last night and games today. So uh, we, we're really proud of what we do for Gather Round. And I think we, um, as South Australians, we should be really happy with how it's going. It's a little bit sweeter after last night's result as well, today's win. Sorry? Is it a bit sweeter being in Gather Round after last night's result, being the only other no. team to go? No, not one bit, not for us. I mean, we. We're all about what, what, what our performances look like and, um, you know, we, we want to make sure we play well and we forget and we haven't, we actually know there's 17 teams in the competition that we're trying to beat and that's what we, that's all we focus on now. What's the latest update on Travis and do you expect him to, you saw him a couple of days? Yeah, he, he got a knock in the back so it wasn't his ribs that he suffered from last year which is a good, a good result in some ways but he, he's got a whack on the back which he's, you know, he's, his back's been a little bit tender over the last three or four weeks, but he, he, in his words, old man's back, so expect he'll be OK. To get, sorry, expect to get Ollie Wines back as well next week. Contract. Yeah, optimistically we, we do, but I've said it before, hamstrings, you, you're never quite sure, but he ran really well yesterday, a lot of running yesterday, so everything should, should be OK. Zach doesn't miss any kicks. He missed that one, I think it was in the second quarter. Did you say something to him on the bench there? Which one did he miss? I'm trying uh, to... Might have led to a goal for the Bombs. No, I'm always talking to Zach. Always talking to Zach and... It looked um, like you were talking to him on the bench. Yeah, well, I probably was. I can't remember it now, but I, I, I'm sure we were talking. What's a sub radical as a role done for a Lee's game? And, and what do you sort of get out of it a night like tonight for both of those guys? I think it just gives us great shape behind the ball to have two genuine tools. And I think, you know, Brandon Zerk-Thatcher is also 
been really, really good for us in these first uh, four games, four games we've played. He's been really good for us, and I think you know we we knew and we understood that we were challenged for a little bit of height down back. I think more than ever, those big people are really important to you, and um, for us now, we're getting some results. Saba's growing, Ali's got not as much pressure on him to do everything, and and Thatch is adding to it. This game uh, tonight against Xavier, obviously since the trade. Was it weird seeing him playing another jersey at the Adelaide Oval? And did you have a chat to him throughout the week or anything? No, not throughout the week. I certainly didn't. I wouldn't have thought that was appropriate for me to do. But I spoke to him after the game and I wished him all the best. And yeah, it is a little bit different because we brought him in as a young player and we, we hoped and wanted him to um, be a part of Port Adelaide. But look, these things happen in footy. He, he, was, he was seeking some opportunity. We were supportive about that. Um, we, we had an opportunity to bring Thatch in. And X gets his opportunity to go back to home, Victoria, and play. So I think he's been playing pretty well, to be fair, in the last couple of weeks, particularly. Seems like many in Mitch Georgiotis' position might be nervous for a game like tonight, but it seemed like he had so much excitement, a lot of energy flying at the foot. He must be running for that. Yeah, well, he's been um, been training for quite a while now, and you know we we really we were being patient with him before we did bring him in, but we um, uh, we hope he continues to build from there. But he didn't play with too many nerves, I don't think. So I'm pretty happy for him. All good. Thank you.